Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Tori and this is At Home with Tori and I am going to be doing a video today for you guys on my paycheck to paycheck budgeting for the second pay period in April. Real quick before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to Parku for reaching out to me yet again. They've sent me these very colorful 14 pack of gel pens and they dry three times faster and I will be using those in today's video. Parku has been so great at um, partnering with me in some of my previous videos which I will link right here. They are going to be part of my giveaway that I'm doing. If you don't know, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, like a budget giveaway for you guys. And if you would like to be a part of that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because if you're not subscribed, you won't be able to be a part of the giveaway. So make sure you do that right now. Um, I'm gonna be giving away a lot of really cool things to get you guys started if you are kind of new to budgeting. I think it'll be really useful for you or even if you just really enjoy it like I do, it's some free budgeting things, so you can't go wrong. Um, one thing that's gonna be included in that giveaway are gonna be some of these erasable clicker gel pens. I'm missing the black one out of here right now, but I will be giving away some of those. I love these things, I think they're awesome. It's gonna be hard for me to switch from the erasable one to the regular pen or back to a regular pen because I've gotten kind of used to when I make a mistake, I can just erase it off and it's been really nice, but that's okay. We're gonna to try to do it without making mistakes and I bet that won't happen and I don't have any wide out, so we'll just see what happens. <laughs> but anyway, I really like these pens. I think they're really pretty. There's a lot of really pretty colors in here and I'm looking at this one because it's probably my favorite. Um, again, because it's the turquoise and purple. If you watched my review of this notebook, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the budget. Okay, guys, so if you watched my previous video about this budget workbook, you will see that I just received my budget by paycheck workbook from the Budget Mom. I went in detail with you guys about each page that's in this workbook and you can watch that video to find out more about this. But this is gonna be my new budget workbook for now. I'm still gonna keep my happy planner for my schooling and things like that, but for now I'm gonna switch to this, see how this works because I really like this method a lot. So when I first received this, it was like literally the day after I filmed my last budget video and did my budget for you guys. So I went ahead and transferred that information from my happy planner into here so that I could um, be on track with April because I just could, I could not wait till May to get started on this. This is just from my first paycheck, which I already showed you. One thing that I did not show you guys was that I actually was able to pay off our one credit card. We have more, but I was able to pay off one credit card and that was our Chase card. Now, that was because we ended up having a refund from something that was around $400, so I was able to go ahead and pay this off using that extra money that we got. So I'm very thankful to have that card paid off. Now we just have two other cards that we're working on and our car payment. Other than that, the only other debt that we have is student loans, which we haven't started tackling yet because we're both still in school, and our mortgage, of course. So... I'm telling you guys, our debt is ridiculous, but we'll get to that when we get to that and we, know we can only do it one day at a time. So the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that the last paycheck, when I budgeted, I budgeted off of our actual amount instead of our budgeted amount. And I'm going to try really hard to do our budgeted amount. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to be budgeting based off of our minimum bring home pay. And then anything extra that we get will be going towards debt and we are saving for a vacation that we're gonna be taking soon. So that's where our extra money is gonna be going. I just wanted to clear that up with you guys to let you know that I am gonna try really hard to budget off of our minimum pay because that's what I should be doing. So let me flip the page. All right, okay, so our paycheck date is today, which is 4-19. 19 and our income budgeted amount will be 14 17 and then other is going to be 150 bringing our total to 15 67 
So for our bills, maybe I can zoom in a little. There we go. Okay, here we go. So the first thing is always going to be our tithe. And that will be 200. So our mortgage is going to be 466. Our gas bill, I guess I'll write bill on there so that it is different than our gasoline, <laughs> is going to be $30. Our internet is going to be $54. Our auto insurance. $124 car payment. I am ready to get out of debt, y'all. I hate having a car payment. It's one of those things that like we needed a new car because ours was dying, but I just, I hate having a car payment. We went for a lot of our marriage not having a car payment. So once we got this one, it was not good. And I struggled with it a lot. Our credit cards. This is our minimum payment for our credit cards. For this pay period, it's going to be $25. And then our cushion. One thing I like about this budget notebook is that there's room for all of my stuff, which I was running out of room on my happy planner. So for this month, I'm only going to do a $10 cushion and hope that that actually works for us because we're a little bit, like I said, I'm changing the way that I budget so that it's off of our budgeted amount and not our actual amount. And then any of our actual amount will go towards either savings or debt instead of, you know, our normal funds. Let me add this up for you guys real quick. 11.10. I'm sorry if you hear background noise. My kids are both home today, so it's loud. <laughs> okay, so when we take our income amount minus our fixed expenses, we are left over with 457. So put the 457 down here. And that's what we use to do our envelopes. So let me switch my pens just because I'm trying these out. I want to see how they write. I really like that one. Everything writes really smooth and it doesn't seem to be smearing at all. Um, so that's really great because the big thing about these is that they dry faster. Okay, so moving on to our envelopes here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put our leftover amount right here just so we're clear with how much we're starting with. And let's start on our envelopes. So the first envelope category that I have is food. And like I said in my last paycheck video, which I'll link right here, we have combined our eating out with our um, grocery budget. So now it's just a food category. Tori's money, Eli's money, our pets, and miscellaneous. Look, oh, I want to test it out. I was a little nervous. <laughs> it doesn't smear. That's very nice. So for our food category, our budgeted food amount is $300 a pay period. And again, that includes, so it's $600 a month for five people, and that includes eating out. So that is very challenging for a busy family, let me just tell you. It's very difficult. So our budgeted allowance is $25 a month, and so I split that up into $12 and $13 a pay period. Same with our pets. And then our miscellaneous is $40 a month because I always, there's always something that I'm not budgeting for. So hopefully with this budget book, I'll be able to figure out what those miscellaneous categories are and be able to budget better for them as the months go on. Okay. So our total for these are, this is 356. Mm -mm. See you guys, I just mess up so much. And then you take the 457 minus 356, and you're left with 101. So now we take our 101 right here and move it up here to this category. For this one, I'm gonna use this magenta pink color. So our budget leftover is 10. Ugh. I'm telling you guys, I'm so bad at writing. <laughs> Forgive me. That's 101 and our sinking fund categories. Here we go. All right, so cell phone, 
in my last budget video, I talked about how we use Mint Mobile, which I will leave a link for Mint Mobile down in my description box. I'll always leave that there for you guys because I'm just super happy with Mint. There's like a refer a friend credit. So if you guys sign up for it, it's 15 free dollars for you and then it's like a $10 referral for me. So that's kind of nice, but I also, I just really like the phone service. We haven't had any issues with it and it's so much cheaper than what we were spending. So whenever I sat down and figured out how much we actually needed, I figured that we would only need to be doing $20 a pay period. I was doing 25, but I dropped that by $5. I might even be able to drop it a little bit more. We'll see how that goes. Our car maintenance, our house maintenance. Oh, sorry, forgot to write it in there. Our car maintenance is still 25. And our house is 13 because we did 12 last month. Our gifts, this may be a category that I'm getting rid of because we just don't buy that many gifts or maybe I just need to figure out exactly which month we need to be saving for. For now, I'm just gonna keep putting $10 into it because you never know. Okay, so our subscriptions was the other one. And I showed you guys in my last video for this review of this notebook that there's a sheet that shows your subscriptions. So if you look at this sheet, it shows you the subscriptions that you have, memberships and subscriptions. And I was able to cancel one of our subscriptions. So because of canceling that, I am now able to take our subscription sinking fund down to $15 a month, which means I'm only gonna be putting in seven and eight dollars a pay period so this one's going to be a seven dollar pay period down from what did i do last month i was doing 10. so it did take it down a little bit not a ton but a little bit anywhere that you can save money is great and then clothes is another category that i'm not sure we're going to keep or may adjust as far as how much we're putting into it but for now that's what we're going to do all right so when we add these ones up That makes it $85. And then of course the 101 minus 85 is $16. So we're left over with $16. So that $16 is going to go to our extra debt. So that will go towards our city card because that is the one with the biggest expense on it. I will put the $16 on here. So our extra debt total is $16. Our leftover is zero. And the cool thing is that when I do our budget check-in, which I'm going to be doing now, I will be able to go in and write the actual amounts and say, this is how much we're left over with. And hopefully we'll be able to put some more into either debt or savings. One thing that I am going to start doing on my paycheck to paycheck budgeting is our cash envelope breakdown. I didn't do it for the first week, so I'm gonna jump down here just so I don't get confused. And I'm gonna get a new pin color. Let's do green. Our categories are food, Tori, Eli, Pets, miscellaneous, and then our sinking funds or cell phone. Again, I'm adding these on here because these are, this is cash that I need to take out of the bank. So it's just easier to keep up with it on here. Gifts, subs, and clothes. Okay, so our amounts are going to be 300, 12, 12, 12, 20, 20, 25. Oh, I'm sorry for how bad my handwriting is. One thing I wish was a little bit better. I've had people tell me that it's good and I'm like, you guys must be crazy because my handwriting is terrible. Okay, so our total for all of those should be 356 plus 85. It's 441. Now comes the fun part of figuring out 
how I need to have them broken down. Three of these. Okay, so then for these, I have to do, I can't use tens and I can't use fifties. So might as well just mark all that out so I don't get confused. So for this, I'll have to get two fives and two ones. And again, two fives and two ones, two fives and two ones. For 20, we'll just do 120. Again, 20 and five. Uh, two and then three. Two, is this confusing to y'all? Because the first time I tried to do this, it was like super confusing to me. <laughs> Basic math, guys. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> so then you just go and add up your bills. So total bill count would be two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Zero, three zero and three. And then you put the value of the bill. So that's obviously going to be $11. 14 fives. Hold on. So $70. Serious y'all. I did do it with my fingers, not a calculator. <laughs> uh, zero. Three twenties will be $60 zero and then three one hundreds would be three hundred dollars so if you add all this up yeah that's right okay cool <laughs> i wasn't sure <laughs> so that equals the 441 that we need so then once you get to that page then you can come right over here and i'm just going to do it right here because it's the easiest one to get out and then you just refer back to what you need okay so i'll be right back i'm going to go to the bank get my money and i'll come back okay guys here we go stuffing our cash envelopes First, I'm going to be doing my cash dividers that I have that I keep in my wallet, and then we will be doing my sinking fund envelopes. So let's get started with that. So for my food envelope, I had a leftover of a whopping two bucks. That's all I had left in my cash envelope. Honestly, I don't even know. I feel like this was gone so fast just because we had spent so much of it from like before I even got the cash out. This month, thankfully, I'm doing the cash at the right time, and so we have the full amount of cash going in. So for our food envelope, we're going to put in 300. So I have the two $100 bills, and then another 100 from 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then the leftover $2. <laughs> so I have 302 in my food envelope now. Okay. Next is going to be my money, which is empty because I used it on eating out. <laughs> and for my envelope, we're going to get $12. So 5, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And then I'm also going to take out $12 for my husband for his allowance. Whoops. 5, 10, 11, 12. He's been doing better, guys. He hasn't been spending too much, thankfully. He's trying. He really is. <laughs> Next is going to be our pets, which has, let's see how much we have in our pets, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's good. I didn't have to buy anything for pets this pay period. So that's good that that's left over, which means this also gets 12 added to it. 5, 10, 11, 12. Put this in order. Okay, so now we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, $29 in pets. That's good because I will be having to buy some food and some cat litter pretty soon. Okay, for miscellaneous, there was $5 left over. I don't know how, but there was. <laughs> Again, I'm I need to make a tracker on these so that I can write down every time that I spend something on these envelopes so I can keep track of it. So there's $5 left over. It gets 20 more dollars. So I'm just going to do a 20. So now there's 25 in miscellaneous. And then I had someone suggest using these for receipts or something else. I forget what the other thing was, but that was such a good suggestion. And I think I might actually do that. That's a very smart thing to do with these leftover envelopes. So that's all for my wallet. 
Now I'm gonna move on to my sinking fund envelopes. I'm probably gonna be moving these to Capital One pretty soon. Um, so I'll just show you guys some screenshots whenever I end up doing that. I'm still using my envelopes that were sent to me from Blackberry Hills. Again, I will link Kristen's um, Etsy channel in the description box because I just love her envelopes. I love the envelopes that she sent me. They're just like perfect for me. And then also her cute little pouches that you can keep envelopes or cash in. I just think she does such a great job. Check her out. I think she's actually having a sale for Easter where everything is free shipping. So make sure you check her out and order your envelopes this weekend. Okay, the first category is cell phones. And we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 dollars in cell phones. And to that we're gonna add 20 dollars. So now we have 120 dollars in our cell phone category, which is very good. We do not have to use this until October, so we're doing great with that one. Next is car maintenance, and that has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, also a hundred. And to that we will add 25. So now we have 125 in our car maintenance fund, which is good because both, I'm pretty sure both of our cars need oil changes right now. And I know that in June, my registration goes up, which is like $100. So <sighs> everything is so expensive with cars right now. It's crazy. Even gas, gas went up again. <sighs> Tired of it. Anyway, house maintenance has not very much 5 10 11 12 so house maintenance gets 13 so let's do 5 10 let me do it this way 5 10 11 12 13 and then moving my money the right way because it bugs me so now we have it should be 25 5 10 15 20 21 2 3 4 25 in our house maintenance which we'll probably be using right away because we're still working on things for our backyard, which I will be showing you guys soon. It's almost done. We got our cushions in yesterday for the furniture that we built, so I'm excited about that. So that will probably be gone this weekend. <laughs> okay, gifts we have. Did I get all those out? Yes, I did, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 31, and 32. To that I will be adding ten dollars five ten so now we have forty two dollars in our gifts which I think is probably the most I've ever saved up for gifts in my entire life <laughs> without just spending it out of our checking accounts all right subscriptions I lowered from ten to seven this month this pay period so five six seven so Let's see, add that to what we had before, which I didn't tell you guys how much it was, but now we have 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. $47, so obviously we had $40 in there before. <laughs> All right. And clothes is our last category. I still haven't put that $10 back in here. I need to do that. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There should be 30. We add 10 to it. So now there's 30 and there should be 40. <laughs> uh, this is one of those categories, again, that I, I just don't know if we need to even keep it because I know it'll be good whenever we do need to buy the clothes, but we just don't buy clothes all that often. My kids are very blessed with hand-me-downs, and I don't shop for myself, and my husband rarely shops for himself, so usually when we do, we go to thrift stores, so it doesn't cost that much. But anyway, that is going to be it for my cash envelopes. I'm really going to try really hard to do a budget check-in at the end of April, showing you guys where my money's gone and where my percentages are with how we're spending our money and just try to keep myself accountable by showing you guys where our money's going. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel again so you can be a part of that giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. Thank you for everyone so far who's subscribed. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And if you have questions or comments, leave them down below for me. I love reading your comments and getting to respond and just um, create a community with you guys. So 
Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.